Hi, good going? morning. <laughs> we are starting our first of the year maggot bucket. See, we're starting with the wood chips, and he's got the bucket with the holes drilled in the side. You know, let's see if I can tilt it and show him the holes. Ugh. Right down there. See, there's the holes around it. So <laughs> <laughs> that, way it, that way it drains out. When yeah. We get too much rain, or we add too much water. All right, just gonna put a little bit of wood shavings in the bottom. Uh, this year we've uh, been, for those who've been watching any of our videos, we've been killing uh, a lot of uh, meat birds, and uh, well, we've been we bought a lot of meat birds. We've been killing them, and so we have a lot of processing stuff. them. <laughs> so, that, so yeah, we got quite a bit of got stuff a, insides. Also, I would like to ask uh, if you would to subscribe early in the video because. We have a video that uh, our other our other meat bird or our other maggot bucket video has got over 3,000 views so far, and I don't think we've gotten more than about two or three subscriptions from it. So <laughs> we're a little bit like, uh, what's oh, going on what here? Views, man. <laughs> so this is a bunch of the uh, pieces. Yeah, bits and pieces. Some older birds that we didn't bother to to eat. We figured we'd just throw them in for some uh, extra extra oomph in the thing. Uh, and we've also got another pig head. We uh, we helped uh, kill so far, what, five pigs? One, two, three, four. Four? Four. No, we yeah. did three the one day and two the okay, other. Five. five. It was yeah. five. Yeah, anyway, so we got uh, pig heads and pig guts, and I was going to throw guts into here, but I had so much of the chicken stuff that I thought, see, nice pig. Hello, pig. Go do your job, pig. Yeah. In you go. And uh, we'll just throw some uh, wood shavings on top. Now, I have looked at some of the other... Uh, I have looked at some of the other maggot videos that people, you know, how to make maggots uh, videos out there. And I'm like, man, that's complicated. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want complicated. I got my wife to look at some of it. She's like, yeah, what are they doing? So this is, this is, this is about as simplicity as it can be. We got our chickens here. Hey, chickens. We don't got to let the chickens out nowhere. We got... The baby chickens, There's the, ones, the, baby that, the ones. ones that are uh, still growing uh, over there, we got a couple that ought to be killed soon. Yeah, we got to uh, process a couple of them. But anyway, if, if there's a simpler process than this one, and Just let and, us know, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but also we have, as you'll notice, there's not a lot of uh, neighbors right close. So if you're in a subdivision, this may not be a great idea for there. But if you got, but if you've got a little bit of acreage and you're just you know, you're because we don't got a lot. We got an acre and three quarters, basically. So uh, you know, it's this is a nice, simple process, and it, it really does work. It is not complicated at all. Yeah. So we're we'll trying to fix it up where we're getting older, and we <laughs> we don't have a lot of help around here. <laughs> so we got to be able to manage it. <laughs> yeah, you can get help, but it costs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Family and friends, you know, they they they, uh, they want something in return. <laughs> so anyway, um, just cover up the cover them up a little bit. <laughs> Woo! Chickens are fussing. Yep, we got another little experiment we're starting. I saw it on one of Joel Salatin's, actually his uh, his son, drawing a blank on his name, but uh, Joel Salatin's son has. Uh, has a lot of rabbit has his chickens in a rabbit coop and uh rabbits in the chicken cool. coop baby yeah, that's cool so rabbits in the chicken it. coop honey yeah you said it the other way around no, he, had, he had he has chickens in his rabbit coop oh well maybe you didn't we yeah. have rabbits in our chicken coop now and yeah, we put a couple of rabbits hello now. rabbit one and rabbit two <laughs> and chicken wants that food in there real bad yeah they even tried to jump up from the bottom and get their food, and they just can't manage it. Okay, 
So uh, back to the tri- bag it bucket. bucket. This thing's simple. We you you saw I just covered up with the maggot with the uh, with wood shavings or the uh, the pig head and and the other guts with wood shavings. I set down one of these little plastic frames that and all it is is a little plastic wire you can get it in any of the hardware yeah. stores or even walmart Wal- i mean walmart may carry yeah they know. do do they yeah i only get them when they're on clearance at walmart and then you just put a couple of uh like landscaping rounded bricks i broke them to uh a, an appropriate size set them in there and i'll water it that's it and that's it and, Chickens love and if it. I'm not and if I'm not talking and trying to explain what we're doing, it takes really no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> and later on in the year, I'll come out and just dig a little hole and throw some more guts in there. Yeah, he's trying. You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to drink my coffee up there. That's what he's he was what doing. He's to do. yeah, I probably gotta change my coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get you some fresh right. coffee now. Uh, if you would, I'd ask you to subscribe and. Uh, uh, like I said, this is just a, a, a dirt, simple, easy. The only thing I got to do now is I'm going to water it and I'm going to hose it down good and get everything wet so that it doesn't de- dehydrate. And we we actually kind of think that we have less maggots or less flies around the house than, than we did before we started doing these. Um, which is very nice. <laughs> which is very, very nice to live out in the country. And I think the thing is that the uh, chickens are eating all the baby flies, so we don't have as many flies. And the flies come out here, too. Yep, and the flies hang out out here because it smells nicely to them. So, anyway, if you like this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe, and that'll be it. Bye, and have a good day.